Uh, well, I thought um, it was certainly, uh, I thought we played pretty well executionally. I thought uh, guys came out, some adversity struck early, we had a big turnover, and then I thought uh, after a nice stop on that end, we really picked it up and played pretty well. So it was good to see that. We know, uh, you know a good win. You guys running back to get 100 yards. Yeah, they, they ran. They ran. They ran hard. You know, uh, Edo had a big play. You know, he had a big run. And, and George again. Both of them have run the ball hard, and that's something they've done all summer. And they've carried that over to the first two games. Uh, was it good to be able to get guys in there early? It was. It was. You know, we took uh, we took Nick out that last drive, uh, last drive or two of the second quarter, and. It's good to get Parker in there and get him some reps. It was good to, you know, get certainly all our young guys, especially up front, defensive line wise, and, and get some uh, young guys receiver wise and offensive line wise in the game. How impressive was it just to get the win in front of the home crowd? Season? Well, it's always good to get the, get a win. I mean, that's the reality. We, uh, you know, like I said, we'll enjoy this one today. It was good. I thought the guys played hard. I, I thought we did a lot of good things. But we know we got a big test coming up next week, and. Uh, yeah, we, we'll enjoy it tonight. We know we're going to get ready tomorrow. 91 unanswered points since the second half. Well, guys, again, I thought we played I thought we played with good effort today. One thing that I probably am the most proud of is the fact that uh, I thought we prepared hard this week and, and uh, you know, we were focused. And I thought that was something that was good to see. That's usually, usually you hope that is an indicator of a mature team, you know. Troy only lost by six points in number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really impressive showing. You know, excellent football program, uh, extremely talented and well coached. Talk about uh, special teams, obviously, like you mentioned, you get the block on the, the, the deflection on the field goal and then later a lot of pounds they mm -hmm. 75 yards. Right. Just want to talk about your special teams. Right, I thought we did some, you know, I thought we did some good things. You know, the the, the punt return was really a big play. I thought we did a better job in our in our kickoff coverage. I thought our uh, our punt team again was solid. Um, you know, um, certainly I was pleased for the most part with those phases. Coach, never you can score points like that in bunches in a hurry. How comfortable does it make you as a coach? Well, it's always it's always nice. You know, it doesn't you know it, you know, it's uh, that's something that. It's, it's a good feeling at halftime, but but the reality is, uh, you know, you still have another half to play, and you can't ever get too comfortable. But uh, we felt like we had a pretty comfortable lead per se, so that's why we decided to go with our twos and threes. But we challenged them. If something bad would have happened, then we would have given up some points, and the ones would have gone back, you know. But uh, we challenged our twos, we challenged our threes, and they responded. So that was good to see. Your first game as a head coach. First home game as a head coach, how you felt the atmosphere was? It was a great atmosphere. It was a great environment. You know, I had a lot of play, a lot of players and coaches uh, coming in off the Eagle Walk and said that environment doesn't get any better anywhere in America. And so uh, that's something that's, you know, it, it was uh, it was a great Eagle Walk environment. It was just a great, you know, and that's what we need week in and week out. You know, our fan support was tremendous, and, and uh, those guys feed on that. Who are some of the well, Tez Parks, I thought, did some really good things. He, he came in, I thought, played really well. Uh, we were able to get Demario Smith up front in the game. Uh, Jeremy Sangster and, and Ruff, Sherrod Ruff, got a lot of plays uh, in the defensive backfield. You know, not only could we play Tavares more and truly more, we were able to get Curtis Michael in the game more. And then we were also able to, you know, Ernest Gunn got a lot of reps. Um, we had. Uh, uh, Kelsey Douglas got a lot, lot of reps, which is good to see. Um, you know, we got Paxton Shrimpster in there. He made some plays, did some good things. Um, you know, so defensively, offensively, you know, we were able to run our whole receiving core got in. Drill made some catches, did some good things. You know, we had uh, T Man. I thought had a big game, uh, doing some nice things. So it's just good to get get those guys involved. Mm. I think, uh, yeah, I said that's probably what I'm 
you know, the most proud of as a coach is uh, we really focused this week. There really wasn't a letdown at practice. There wasn't a, and I thought the guys, uh, you know, in Savannah State, and I said this earlier, they're a well-coached football team. Savannah State is a program that they're just building right now. It's their first year. They got in. They're just two games into it, and they've played two FBS opponents. But uh, they're doing a really good job of coaching them, and uh, those guys are playing hard, and uh, they're, they're going to they're gonna sneak up on some guys. Just watch. That long run by Ida set a stadium record set 35 years ago by some guy named Collier. Mm -hmm. that yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, Ito is just a tremendous, uh, just a tremendous athlete. He, he's got great vision. He's a competitor. Not only, you know, is he fast and quick, but he's a powerful back for it. You know, you look at Ito, you know, he, he might uh, not be the biggest guy in the world, but his punch and his power is, is tremendous. You know, so he, he's a guy that plays hard every snap and just, just a great, great player and. Uh, so it was a big play for us, you know. Any other questions for Coach? All right, guys, thanks a million. Okay, thank you. That first interception didn't seem to bother you very much. Uh, yeah. I mean, you just gotta shake it off. Um, I'm kind of uh, uh, not a good choice, I guess. You just gotta protect the ball, get it over the guy, and not throw it right at his hands. Um, but yeah, you know, offense played great, very smooth execution, handled business well, prepared well, um, and you can see that we have a lot of guys that can make plays. So uh, it's definitely good to see. Well, a lot of guys making plays. I think four different receivers with touchdowns, three different guys, including yourself, with uh, rushing touchdowns. Two parts. So talk yeah. about the balance, and then talk about your mm -hmm. newfound. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, I mean, you know, we have a lot of guys that are good enough to play, and I think that creates a uh, consistent competition in practice. Uh, you know, Corey, Corey's good enough to play. Marquise is good enough to play. They all deserve playing time. So it's just a matter of who can, uh, you know, compete in practice and elevate their game to uh, become the guy. And, uh, you know, when you have that sort of competition, and uh, but also, you know, brotherhood um, along with it uh, creates, you know, just makes everybody better. Uh, I told Ito I was stealing his touchdowns. So I don't deserve any of that. Talking to Ito on that 86-yard run setting the stadium record, uh, the rookie running back from Oklahoma State, what do you think that means for him? Yeah, I mean, you guys know just as well as I do, Ito is uh, one of the most electric players out there. And uh, anytime he touches the ball, he's got a chance to uh, take it the distance. So uh, that definitely makes uh, coaches and players' job very easy when you have a player like that. Uh, you have a Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I saw him. Uh, you know, we had just you know inside run, just regular run call, and uh, he just found a way to spin out that first tackle, and then uh, you know went the distance. Um, you know, Isaiah Jones had a great block. Uh, you know, he kind of just you know steered Ito right towards a touchdown, and uh, you know so to see that kind of effort just on every play, you know, shows kind of you know how um, how bad we want to win, and I think that's something good to notice on film. Yeah, Marquise, you know, he uh it's awesome to see him, you know, work, come from where he ha was to uh where he is now. Just a dependable receiver and uh just keep working every day, every day. Just got to keep working. And uh you know, I think our trust is growing and that's uh, definitely good to see. Maybe one answer points since the second half of practice the offense and defense. Uh we just want to win. You know, we're going to keep fighting. We're going to be tough. We're going to be nasty and uh just relentless. And uh we're going to embrace everything that coach Hop preaches. And um, I think you just got to stay focused uh, week by week, practice by practice, and uh, continue to get better. It was 42-0 near the end of the second quarter, and I mean, if you're ever come out the game, how important is it for the offense, I guess, how will you establish it and guys keep it going? I think it's definitely important. You know, the biggest thing is you can't let those kind of teams, you know, sleep around necessarily. Uh, probably seen, what, a few scores from the day, you know, just teams kind of sleeping around, just taking things lightly, and uh, we, we made sure that that was not going to happen tonight, you know. Sometimes you can just get in a little lull, and, and but it was important to come out fast, stay focused, and I thought we did a really good job of that. How did you guys prepare to make sure that there was no letdown at their uh, Just, you know, prepare every game like it's the same, no, whether, no matter whether it's Savannah State or Kentucky. 
uh, you know, it's about us. You know, it's all about us. If we make the plays to win the game, then, uh, you know, we're going to – if we make plays, we're going to win. And uh, so it's really just focusing on how we can get better as football players, not necessarily who we're playing. Troy, only losing that touchdown, what does that say? Definitely. You know, uh, anybody can beat anybody on any given day. Um, um, I'll get in there tomorrow, start watching film. Uh, definitely a respectable opponent. You know, I've been around Troy. I just being from Alabama, know a lot about the program, and you know they're always good. They always have a good team. They're always physical, and um, so it'll be definitely a good contest for us here in the Rock. Uh, just got to prepare and uh, go out and execute. Should be a very good game. Any other questions? Yeah. I didn't because I. I mean, I. I did not. But uh, any chance I get to go out and compete, no matter who we're playing, uh, you know that's what I love. Uh, I kind of. Play football because I love football, so I'm glad we got to play tonight. Hey, going back to some of those playmakers, whether it's Isaiah making people look silly on the outside or DJ just going up and getting it, how fun does that make your job out there? Uh, it's awesome. You know, we work on uh, those routes. You know, we work on throwing routes every day after practice, you know, just us. And uh, to see that work pay off is uh, really tremendous, you know, and you can throw a five yard pass for a 60 yard touchdown. That makes everybody's job so much easier. So uh, I think you'll see them. Continue to make plays throughout the season, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. You kind of have some flashbacks to freshman year 2013 when you saw T-Man and Marquis out there making plays, catching some passes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, th- I really do. Uh, I think about that all the time. We have a lot of guys that have uh, made really big strides in their career, uh, you know, just finding ways back. And uh, I think they deserve every bit of that, you know, just finding ways to be successful no matter what you're doing in life. And uh, so it does. It makes you proud, you know. Um, Big catches, big plays. I say congrats, you know, because it really is. It's awesome to, uh, you know, attribute to uh, where they, how far they've come. Anything else? Yeah.